Hello everyone, I'm Joe Bertolino, President of Southern Connecticut State University. As a public institution with a time-honored commitment to social justice, Southern has partnered with the City of New Haven for more than 125 years to address shared challenges, create opportunities, and transform lives. And so it is fitting that our own Hilton C. Buley Library is now the home to the New Haven Mayoral Papers Collection. Thanks to the generosity of noted attorney and author Neil Thomas Proto, class of 1967, Buley Library is the repository for the papers of New Haven's four most recent mayors, whose tenures collectively spanned 40 years of Elm City history. Biagio Ben Delito, a former chief of police who served from 1980 to 1990. John Daniels, the city's first African-American mayor who served from 1990 to 1994. John DeStefano, New Haven's longest serving mayor, serving from 1994 to 2014. And Tony Harp, the city's second African-American and first female mayor who served from 2014 to 2020. This collection is a treasure trove of information about civic life in our city, from economic development to community policing, from school reform to the launch of the New Haven Promise program. And the exhibit now on display in our Lyman Center highlights many of the most notable items. I chose to share my collection with Southern because Southern is accessible to its students, who many of whom are from this area, as well as to the community. And so I wanted to make sure that there weren't things in place that limited access to my papers, to the things that those papers represent. I think that when people read them, that it will help them at least understand the time in which I was the mayor of the city of New Haven. This exhibit will provide a wonderful insight into the processes of city government and how critical decisions were made. Neil Proto's generosity has helped create an archive of historical and societal significance for the city of New Haven. Indeed, no other repository exists to preserve the day-to-day -day record of the past four decades of New Haven's development. These items are excellent primary research materials for students, faculty, and scholars everywhere. They are of great historical and cultural value for students here at Southern and Yale. And they are unique, and we are excited to house and present them, as well as make the collection accessible to anyone who is interested in the history and politics of New Haven. Endowed with a dedication to public service, each of these mayors dared to dream big, to pursue plans to make New Haven more vibrant, more connected through school reform, cultural enhancement, economic development, and other key initiatives. As the New Haven Independent reported, they listened to the public took bold stands, pursued ambitious projects, while never acting like they were the smartest person in the room, even when they were. This collection began with the gift of the John DeStefano papers. These include almost 100,000 pages of speeches, memos, newspaper clippings, bond agreements, flyers, inaugural gala programs, airport agreements, and other documents. What better location, said former mayor in the interview, than New Haven's premier education institution for these documents, which ultimately belong to the public. Located in special collections on the ground floor of Buley Library, the mayoral papers have been digitized, which makes them accessible to researchers throughout the world. What we're looking at here is the open access potential that digitization uh, affords us. These archives, once digitized, 
will be made available to anyone across the globe, whether or not they have the resources to travel to see them in person or can only access them through digital facsimiles online. And this strong core of official mayoral papers has attracted other materials, including photographs and journals, that offer more personal insights into the governing individuals and their aides who defined New Haven public policy for four decades. When the opportunity to house these papers came along, it seemed like a logical continuity of that, uh, a reflection of its already deep commitment to the city, and a wonderful opportunity for Southern Connecticut to do exactly what it does well, and that is to, to uh, understand and be deeply involved in the cultural life of New Haven in ways that no other institution really is. Those reasons are gonna allow Southern Connecticut to project these papers, this archive, well beyond the city of New Haven. That the, the empathy that goes with it, that comes from the cultural history of this school, is going to encourage others to look at these papers as something they really should pay attention to because the university treasures them. And I think that that's going to matter in the future history of how these archives are available, not just to scholars in New Haven or at the university, and students especially, but well beyond that. I hope that you'll enjoy perusing this exhibit and take the opportunity at a later date to explore the full archive, either digitally or in person, at Bewley Library. I want to thank everyone involved for their dedication and hard work in bringing this important project to fruition. And most importantly, I thank Neil Thomas Proto for his grand vision to establish this special collection and for his material support of both the collection and this exhibit.